Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's James Peach, filming from Police Portland. Out here on 82nd and Powell, seeing what the fuck these pigs are doing. Do, 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 do. They don't know I'm here. So I figured. See what they do without knowing somebody's here and watching them, you know what I mean? I'm breaking rule, uh, like number two of the uh, Film Police Portland guidebook, as it were. Uh, I'm here by myself. But, uh, whatevs. It's daylight. I'm not terribly afraid of them shooting me for no reason. That guy's looking into her vehicle when I don't think she's given consent for a search. They still don't know I'm here. It's fantastic. This is what happens on the daily, ladies and gentlemen. Cops violating your rights because they can. Because people don't fucking know better. Still doesn't know I'm here. Oblivious. Oh, there we go. Figured it out. To make sure they don't violate people's rights, that's why I do it. Living free, that's where I would be. We know it. It's cheaper than a body cam. Yeah. <laughs> Bootlicker, example A. I always find it interesting that it's always the older white people that have a problem with me filming the police. I'm not harassing them. I'm not impeding their uh, their job in any way right now. Yet, because I'm watching them, I'm a bad guy because I'm not licking the boot. Cheaper than a body cam. You're not wrong. <laughs> I like that. That was a good one. I wonder if he's going to tell me to trespass me. Motherfucker. So 
Clip be the guy that called her, called the cops on this lady because this lady was has been sitting in her car. She hasn't been driving, she's sitting in her car. And that's, that's against the rules to the large fat man. I think she's fucked up. Like on drugs. Oh, she's on the phone to somebody. That's why she was just like not talking. He's just gonna park his car. I mean, I understand why his car is like that, so that that person can't dip off in their car, but because they don't know when they when they approach a situation, you know, caution's a good idea. So that trick they use is they, uh, they'll call dispatch on their personal cell phones so that what they say is not recorded on the fucking the radios or whatever. That's a thing. So from what I've gathered, like the lady's been sitting in their car for like two hours or something like that. And so the guy in Ace called the cops on her, essentially. Like she's not doing anything, she's just sitting in her car, but. I'm sitting here making phone calls. I'm a huh? caregiver, I'm not gonna drive and use my cell phone. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought something was going on, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I do, it's like a hobby. Uh, film them, make sure they don't violate people's rights or beat people up or, you know. Cool. Thank you. It's one and one. One criticism, one compliment. So it looks like they're gonna try to make her get out of her car. I'm on your side. In police state America, it is against the law to sit in your own vehicle. So they're going to try to pull her out of the vehicle, but she has to voluntarily comply. And as I'm by myself, I'm not going to shout a bunch of things. Lots of thoughts. She consented to a search? I don't think she has. You keep your mouth shut or you're going to go away. You can't. You want, do not interrupt. I can say whatever the fuck I want. That's actually protected under the Oregon Constitution. I need you to stand the sidewalk. Nope, that's not gonna happen. 
Do you understand that because you just said that it's okay for me to be here? You can be there. Don't interact with them. We'll talk to you. I'm not interacting with you. I'm just speaking to the public. Stay right there. Or go to the sidewalk and you get arrested for interfering. You can't interrupt me. You can't arrest me for interfering by talking. You can try. I'd love a lawsuit. That'd be fantastic. Get a new camera. Stand over there. You don't have that authority. You could, yeah, do that. You don't like it when people contradict your authority for your fucking violation of rights, do you? Yeah, it makes everyone angry. I know. Until he tells me to leave, you can suck my D. I would suggest you have to say I do not consent to searches for them to uh, not search your car. For real, tell them I do not consent to searches and they can't search your shit. Real talk. That's her on video saying she does not consent to anything. Yes. Tell me to leave because I'm protecting people's rights. You're going to? You're going to do what they're telling you because I'm trying to defend someone's rights? Rights of what? Not being searched. She has a right to her personal protection. Yeah. You want me to? I don't, I don't need you out here. You she out does. No, I, I don't need you. All right, I'm leaving. Property. I'm leaving. You stand on the sidewalk over there. I don't need your permission to sign on the sidewalk, but thank oh, you. Yeah. This was a non-issue until you made it an issue. Thanks, piggies. Now 